My name's Ryan Shelton. I'm a co-host on The Imperfects, the Jewish grandson of Austrian and English immigrants. And I grew up on and am now currently living on Wurundjeri country. I'd like to recognise the traditional peoples of this continent whose land was stolen nearly 250 years ago. In particular, we at The Imperfects would like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation as the traditional owners of the land on which this podcast was recorded, and we extend our respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. The rich storytelling history of the world's oldest living culture is what we proudly pay homage to when we share stories on The Imperfects. Bonus episode. Oh, I wasn't expecting to drop one today, <laughs> were we? I think some people might be getting quite like anxious just at the uncertainty of like, what is going on? Is the season finished? Why are we just... No, know? well, these are like little summer bonus episodes, obviously. I just said <laughs> oh, no. <"B-b-b-> bonus. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Why would they be confused? <laughs> yeah, but the, I mean, our, our regular season will start yeah. at some whenever that starts. Yeah. Um, but this is just... Well, this one particularly um, I've been wanting to do for a while because... Um, last year I decided that I wanted to, I I mean, I I was sick of my iPhone essentially. I was just like, like, don't get me wrong. I love Mm. the iPhone, love Apple, um, have been a fanboy for years watching the keynotes of the announcements and everything (laughs) like love it. (laughs) But, but recently I, I've sort of, well, not recently, but like, you know, a few months ago, whenever, whenever I started this. Last year, particularly, I started just noticing how much I was just just checking my phone, like everyone does. You know, you just look, habit, don't even need to. It's hundreds of times a day, probably, just like quick look. And and I just thought, no, I've got to, I've got to stop this because I, I think even hearing people that we've had on, like Johan Hari and even like Oliver Berkman and different people that we've had on who've talked about phone use and the damage that it does to us and particularly the ability to pay attention, mm. like our, it, how it ruins our ability to pay attention because our minds stuck in phones and things like that. Well, actually, before I get into it, what I thought I'd do in this episode is talk about like why I got rid of my iPhone mm. for a flip phone, which I've had for like months and months now, why I did that what it's been like, the experience, like the- I'm not talking and- like the new Samsung flip, which is like still a smartphone. No, this no, is, no. This is something very different. It's like, it's a, yeah, it's like a, a it's very a really- basic Nokia flip phone <laughs> yeah. with nothing on it, essentially. So, yeah. So, my experience of that. And then later on in the episode, I'll go through what my actual- This is for people. Like, if you get to later in the episode <laughs> and you're actually keen on <laughs> trying this, I can go through my actual setup and how I've- set up the devices. That's what I'm here for. Okay, great. I'm so keen to know about that. And then Mm. what I want to do at the very, very end um, is describe, based on my experience, describe my dream device Mm. um, for anyone, any phone manufacturers listening, Mm. this would be my dream. (laughs) That would be my dream device. Anyway, that'll be later. So, any questions? Because otherwise, I'm just going to talk for ages and I feel like conscious. Oh, how long? I, I, well, if I can, if I can do it under four hours, I reckon that'd okay. be good. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just start with why. So, for some context, I certainly don't want this to sound like I'm telling anyone to get off their phones, or like I'm very conscious that everyone's different, and I am very aware of the fact that people need to be on their phones for work or for lots and lots of different reasons. This is just me. It's not. I'm not trying to convince anyone to do anything. This is just my experience because I know that when I was thinking about doing it, I was like just trying to find anything online, Mm. a guide, you know, YouTubers who have tried it. I wanted to get as much advice as possible. So, this is essentially for anyone who's thinking that maybe they could be on their screens a bit less and want to try a flip phone or something similar. Well, what I call it a smug phone. Yeah. And so, I know you're not trying to convince us, Mm. but I'm hoping that you do convince me Mm. because- I spent last summer holidays that people might remember with a with a dumb phone mm. and it was literally only three and a half weeks mm. and it was, I just, I was so much happier. Yeah. But as soon as the year started up again and work kicked in and I just, I just, I, I felt like I probably didn't, but I felt like I just needed it. Mm. And there were certainly things I needed it for, but then the downside far outweighs the positives. Yeah. Like I just, it's. I I hate I hate my smartphone. I just mm. hate it, but then I can't put it down. So 
I'm kind of hoping that your experience over the last little while is going to be what tips me back to my dumb phone. Well, I mean, what I'll say up front is like the, the ex- to, as a bit of a spoiler, it hasn't completely changed my life or anything. Like just just to be really realistic oh. about it, it's not like it's <laughs> okay. it's, it's not like it's not like I'm a new person. It's not like it's um, and I'm and as I'll explain, the whole point of this was not to quit social media or to quit the internet or it's nothing like that. Like it, the the way I've done it is I've done it very realistically, knowing that like I still need emails, I still need Slack for work for the imperfect stuff, I still need. Um, I still yeah. need the internet. You That's know. what would hold, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of addicted regardless, but I think if I tried, what would bring me back in is like, oh, shit, I need my calendar, I need maps, I need yes. these. Yeah, I like a podcast when I'm commuting. Yeah. So I feel like I'd get drawn back in pretty quickly. Hmm. Yeah, and, and when I was sort of thinking, because I've tried this once before and I bought a phone years ago, which is this very over-designed, dumb phone which is like this european company called punked believe it or not Mm. p-u-n-k-t and they made this phone which is very cool looking and it's great but it is it's 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 for what they call like digital minimalism Mm. so it's for people who want to do a proper digital detox and have literally yeah. just messages and phone calls and and snake I and think. snake <laughs> <laughs> yeah. always on, yeah. always snake yeah so so i tried that and i found that really hard for lots of reasons because what i realized was people we always sort of try and do things in extremes i think and so we go like oh i don't i don't want to i want to get rid of my iphone and i'm going to start using a dumb phone but then the transition is too extreme because we go from having everything to having nothing. Yeah. And, and so you're the ex- throwing out a lot of good stuff there too. Yeah, exactly. There's so much good in, in that. And, and I think the reason then you, you go back to the smartphone is because it's just way too hard mm. to do like full, well, for me, it was just way too hard to fully give up the features and convenience of yeah. internet on the go, essentially. Yeah. Well, and I do think this is a good time of year to be having this conversation. I feel like there's a time of year when people are trying to set up their year to you know, just to do things a little bit better and we're feeling quite aspirational. And yep. so great time to have this chat. So I, I so I started this, um, I, I got rid of my iPhone, essentially turned, turned off my iCloud, like took off all my settings, put it in the cupboard in like September, 2022. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I'm still, it's, I haven't touched it since. So, so I, maybe I'll also just mention actually why I call it so I call my flip phone a smug phone as opposed to a smartphone. <laughs> and the reason I call it a smug phone is because quite simply, I feel extremely smug using <laughs> yeah, it. The, the general air of superiority. <laughs> yeah. sense. You know, walking around, just seeing people like buried in their iPhones, scrolling through social media. And here I am and I just like pop open the flip. And there's, a, there's an extreme smugness to that. I'm very aware of it. So. <laughs> it's a good name for it because when you answer the phone in front of us, here in the studio, it like it's perfect. The look yeah. on your face, it's smug. Yeah, I, I, I feel <laughs> like I'm better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when I when I first started to do it, I tried like a few different things. Like I tried all the things because when I talk to people about this, they they say like, why don't you just delete all the apps that you don't like, or why don't you just put on the screen time thing? Mm. And I tried all those things, and that's if that works for you, then that is great. That makes this way easier. <laughs> but it did not work for me. For me. I would always, I might do that for a week or so, but eventually I find a reason Mm. to, it's like, oh, I do actually, I just need to quickly download Instagram because I need to post this imperfect video or I need to check for messages or whatever it might be. So you always find a reason to do it. And then once it's back on, you know, I was pretty good at downloading and deleting and downloading and deleting. But after a while, it just stays there. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, ah, well, yeah, I tried. (laughs) It's too hard. I feel like that's surely most people. I don't know yeah. how many people are, have only got six apps on their smartphone, even though they might start off with that and go, yeah. that's all I'm going to do. Happens yeah. for a week or so, yeah. It's a slippery slide. Yeah, slide. So I'm just going to download TikTok just to see what it's like and then I'll get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just going to try one cigarette and just see how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, so I, I tried all those things and and I just it wasn't working. I just found myself. And last year I went away for a few months and was so... It was just, as you guys know, went on this like incredible trip around Europe and and what really like tipped me over the edge was being in these incredible places and still feeling the need to check for emails mm. while we're like on this mm. like pebble beach in Italy 
and and I have a moment of like, oh, I should just make sure I see if there's any emails, the time difference. And then you get stuck in there and you see something else. And then 15 minutes later, you look up and you're like, I'm in Italy. What am I doing? Yeah. Mm. So that was happening all the time, and then that's that was it's the such thing. a depressing realization. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and I guess the other, the flips, well, not the flip side, but the, <laughs> the smug side. The smug side of that <laughs> is, is even here at home in Melbourne, you with your kids, and you go I'll check emails quickly, and then fifteen minutes later, you're like, what am I doing? I'm with my kids. Yeah. yeah. So mm. yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So again, like I, I, I am also. I, I'll keep saying this because I'm I'm aware of it that I'm. I know people need their phones. So this is, again, just, just my experience. Mm. So um, so what I decided to do was I was like, I really need to, like I'm pretty good with rules. Like if I set rules for myself or guidelines, it's like, okay, that's the rule. Set a timeline. So at the start I said, okay, I'm going to do 100 days. That was my initial thing. I was like 100 days and and I went to doing a bunch of research to figure out surely there are people on the internet who have done this but done it in a way which is more sustainable than just like throwing out your phone and getting a, a, a flip phone. And so I found out a, a few a few different tricks and different ways to do it. But the thing that really helped me, the sort of mindset that really helped me was instead of going, I'm going to choose not to have an iPhone because whenever I did that, I would pretty quickly come up with a reason why, oh, but I can't get rid of my iPhone because I need this. Mm. Can't get rid of my iPhone. I need, I need the camera. I take photos all the time. So I would always find a reason. And, but what I realized eventually is like the pros of getting rid of my iPhone definitely outweigh the cons. Mm. So how can I make up for the cons in other ways? So the, what I said to myself was, um, okay, imagine if someone said to me, you're not allowed to have an iPhone. So like the equivalent of like a doctor saying to you, hmm. you can't drink alcohol. From a health perspective, you're not allowed to drink wine. Hmm. So if you know that, then you're like, okay, well, it's out of my hands. It's choice is yep. made. I can't do it. So I, I approached it from the point of view of like, I'm genuinely banned from smartphones. So from that point of view, then you go like, oh, okay, well, how am I going to solve this problem? How am I going to solve that problem? And then every time your brain says, oh, but you need the thing, you can just say to your brain, but I'm banned. I'm banned from smartphones. <laughs> That's a good answer. So yeah. there's, no, there's no choice. Yeah. But I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed. So, so that, that's really helped me, that mindset, because it's forced me... Because the thing I found is like, none of us need it. None of us need a, a smartphone because there's always other... It's less convenient. I mean, like, the smartphone's more convenient but it brings with it a whole bunch of baggage that I didn't want to carry anymore. So yeah, Im imagining that I had that rule really, really helped me. It's sort of the thing I kept, comp I've never smoked in my life and I, I've, I've, I've never been a, a smoker of cigarettes or anything like that, but I just sort of thought about it in terms of like, well, if you're trying to smoke less, don't have a packet of cigarettes in your pocket because mm. you're just going to mm. want to take one out yeah. and smoke. So it's like, sure, if going, going cold turkey is very hard. So, so for a smoker, I guess it'd be just like maybe you've got a pack at home or you've got, you know, but don't, don't want to have, you've got no chance if you've got it in your pocket any single moment. <laughs> you've got a good analogy. It's just like, well, you've got no chance. Mm. So I was like, I've got to get the phone, I've got to get the internet out of my pocket. That was the goal. I've got to get the internet out of my pocket, then it's not as accessible. Even if it's in my bag, mm. then, then at least it's accessible, but not. It's like, an extra barrier. It's an yeah. extra barrier. Yeah. So it's like if, you're at the classic one is some you're at a restaurant with a friend they go to the toilet and you're like oh phone straight out mm. and you you're out of the the moment so what i did is i got this a smartphone so it's a it's a for those interested it's a nokia 2720 flip um <laughs> and that's even a smug name it is isn't it <laughs> yeah i looked at a bunch of different ones the reason i went with and just to be clear with all due respect to nokia this is not a good phone <laughs> 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 this is not a great phone <laughs> let me be very clear <laughs> um, so it's not a, we're not doing an ad here this, this is, not, is <laughs> not an ad for that no but as far as like i picture the nokia people listening going this is brilliant we're getting, oh, Fuck. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I mean, but but God, I would pay as I would pay as much money as an iPhone costs to get a really good version of this Nokia 2720. Okay, yeah, like because it's because what it brings, it it, it it's so good for my life. Mm. But as a phone, technically speaking, 
shit house. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry, Nokia. I've been using it and I, I'm about to encourage everyone to get one, but people should know that if you're going from a smartphone to this, keep your expectations low. But the reason I went with this one is not because it's a flip phone or not because of any other reason other than the fact that it's one of the only ones I could find that has WhatsApp and it has Google Maps. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, well, that were my two things I was going to challenge you with. Yep. Not challenge you with, but ask no, how no, else do you challenge me? Come at me. <laughs> <laughs> you get a kick going. I'll so, challenge well, later. Yeah. I mean, WhatsApp, WhatsApp is something we all use. Mm. And, you know, we talk on it all the time. I have family, you know, everyone has like, I have a family group on WhatsApp. And annoyingly, WhatsApp does not work on iPads. Like, yes. it, yeah. it, it, you can't even get the phone version mm. and put it on an iPad. Mm. So, it was crucial that I had a smug phone that had WhatsApp. So this yeah. does have that. So that is what's good about it. So that's why I got this. So I got this. And then the other thing I thought was like, okay, well, I still want the option at least. Like what if I, cause you know, in preparing for this, I'm going through all the scenarios. What, what will I need? What bases do I need to cover? And one of them for whatever, I don't know why this one kept coming up for me, but it was, oh, what if I go to a, a concert and or, or like the footy or something, and my tickets on like it's a digital ticket. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work on on smug phone. So, so I was like, I need an iPad. But what I got is an iPad Mini, which a lot of people tease me about at first because it's like, <laughs> isn't that just like a big iPhone? <laughs> just getting a better version. But the reason that I got that is because an iPad Mini, it's small enough to take with you most places, um, but not but not small enough to fit in your pocket. So you still got to have it in a bag. Okay. So there is still a barrier to accessing that. Yeah. And there is something I'm very self-conscious when I'm looking at my iPad in public because it looks ridiculous. Like I look like I'm, a, I don't know, you know, people who take photos with iPads at concert. <laughs> I, I feel like one of those people. <laughs> well, you used it the other night at about, it was about quarter past 12 in yeah. the middle of the CBD. Yeah. And you had a, you thought of something you wanted to message Bridge, our producer on Slack and so you pulled out your iPad and started messaging and yeah. it did look. It looks right yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So because there is, you know, we all know that thing of, you see people on their phones and they've got a face that looks like they're doing something really important, Yeah, but they're not. Like no. there's nothing, you know, maybe they are, but very rarely because you're concentrating and you're looking at the phone with like scowled face and you're scrolling yeah. through something and you want people to think that you're doing business, <laughs> but you're not. You're rarely doing business. <laughs> you're just <laughs> looking at social media or your whatever yeah. it is. Um, so, yeah, um, iPad mini. And people people might be thinking, well, this is getting expensive, but this is this is already still cheaper than getting an iPhone, yeah. getting an iPad Mini and a, yeah. a smug phone. So so yeah, so I, I I got I set it up and I did all the things I needed to do and and I and I was ready to go. What I've got here is I've got like a few because at the start I said to myself I'd do this throughout the whole experience, but I stopped. Just doing like little journal entries, oh, essentially wow. like trying to yeah nice record yeah. Um, Do you use um, a resilience project journal or? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. And then just take photos of it and put it on my computer. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> um, God, um, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Sorry, mate. I used um, uh, another, another day one, which I've talked about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> although the resilience project one is fantastic. Thank you. It's brilliant. Day one. It's brilliant. <laughs> um, so... Okay, my first... This is when I was setting it up. I wrote this. It's already a bit annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a memory card, so I can't import all my contacts. I need to make a list of all the contacts I want to export and then put them on a memory card tomorrow. So, that was like already it's like, oh, shit. Because you need... It. So, these yeah. smug phones take memory cards mm. and it's just the contacts. Got a memory card. In, took so, that's minutes. me done, I reckon. At that point, I'm like, I yeah. can't be bothered. No, but, but but if you come back to the thing, you're not allowed a smartphone. Okay. So, you've got to- <laughs> But you, you are, can, actually. No, you're not. Oh, okay. No, new rule. <laughs> Spoke to the government. Yeah, you're not allowed them. They just banned them. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, I know how you love TikTok and shit, yeah. but yeah, you're going to have to take a break. <laughs> anyway, but got through that. That was fine. Got the contacts on, on there. So, so you got got a memory card. Doesn't matter. I'll listen back to the episode. Yeah. I don't yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll teach you how to do it. <laughs> Little SD card. We can take you through it here. Okay. So then day one. This is what I've written. Day yeah. one. Yeah. Realized how much of my life I spend looking at Apple designed screens. So with that one, I realized that between my iPhone, my computer, and Apple CarPlay, I was 
I spent, I, I realized it's, a, it's sort of a small thing, but it was kind of a little bit of a profound, like, sh- like a bit worrying. Yeah. Where I was like, I spend a huge percentage of my life looking at something dictated by a company in California. Mm. Like, the, like the design of the way that they design the screen is like so much of my time is spent looking at it. Yeah. I'm like, that's weird. So, taking, removing the iPhone was, and Apple CarPlay was a big change for that. On day one, weirdly, I went to see Maria, uh, psychologist Maria, and and I and I just I've just written down waited outside of Maria's without phone because it was it was such a just standing outside waiting for her to get there because it was the first appointment of the day, and I was just waiting out there just with my smug phone and just mm. like, well, this is me now. Yeah, like I've got I had nothing to look at, uh, and and that was great. I, I was I felt really really good about that, and I was like, oh, this is this feels right. This is what you're supposed to do. Just just wait. Mm. Yeah. Just wait. It was like five minutes, mm. Mm. Uh, and it was good because it gave me time to think about what I was going to talk to Maria about. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But did Did you have it? Were you feeling like I've won? Was it that, that kind of like? Uh, I mean, I was. I mean, yeah, yeah, sort of. Because I was pretty confident, pretty... I was like, this is actually easy. I felt like I clocked it. Right. And and now, <laughs> all one. these months later, I still feel the same, yeah, still feel okay. the same way. Oh, yeah, nothing's changed. I was like, as I'll say, as I'll explain later, this has been way easier than I thought it would be. I was terrified, genuinely terrified yeah. about getting rid of my iPhone. Mm. Um, I shouldn't have cut you off then. Sorry. What you're saying is really profound, I reckon. You had a session with your psychologist and you spent the five minutes before you went in there thinking about what you're going to say. Yes. That, no question, that five minutes for most of us would be just um, yeah. on whatever our poison is, like if it's Instagram or email, not really thinking about what was coming up and preparing yep. for something really big and important. Yeah. Yeah. So, that that was, that felt really, really good day one. Um, I mean, the other thing, and the, the next thing I wrote is having a smug phone, not only does it mean you're on your phone less, but it's a constant reminder to be more present. Every time you pick it up, it's a mindfulness mascot. <laughs> so, it, and it's true. And it's like, because every time I see it, I, I remember, yeah, oh a, yeah, just just be. Yeah, you made a decision here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's a, it's a kind of nice reminder. Uh, that Later that day, I went to Chibi, which is yep. a, a cafe around the corner from here and just had my smug phone. And I went by myself. I often go by myself and I just went by myself to have lunch. And they've got all these amazing books on the shelves and like magazines. And I was like, I'm going to read one of those books. And, and, I, and I spent ages reading this. It was all in Japanese. <laughs> 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 reading, reading. I, yeah, you, you I somehow Japanese. figured out how to read Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was quite incredible. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I, I, but I was just, it was like an architecture, this big architecture book. Mm. And I was just looking at that and then... I don't. It it was. It sounds silly, but it was just so peaceful. Mm, yeah, it was sounds incredible. Lovely. It was so nice. So that was that, and then I just also wrote noticing everyone on their mini computer phones all the time. So that's a smug one. <laughs> that's just like <laughs> it's a smug. It's very smug. Like just noticing everyone just stuck in these things, and I was like, oh wow, that. All those day ago, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, day two, another journal entry. Headline, it's easy. <laughs> then I've written, because I've removed the phone completely, it's not even an option. It's way easier than I expected. I still have everything I need in my bag. The main difference is it's not in my pocket. So, I was, I was noticing at the time, it was like, to get it out meant that I had to I had to push, not only push past the barrier of getting my bag off my shoulder and opening the zip and getting it out, but it was the shame of doing mm, it as well. Yeah. Like it's sort of like getting past that. And once you start do- once you start getting into your iPad, into that world, how does it feel? Well, there's something, because the bigger screen, there's something about an iPad that makes it feel more like work or like it's yeah, a work okay. thing. So, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel dirty? No, it doesn't feel... I mean, it's just also harder and more cumbersome i yeah. guess so it's, mm. it's and i don't think you want to be caught scrolling instagram on an ipad for some reason that is exactly <laughs> it because it's big it's so yeah. true though people can see what you are looking you at. you can't hide yeah. it it's yeah. so true that is a good one yeah so okay then day 12 oh this was a big one this was big day 12 headline my friends and my entertainment mm. so 
the thing that I I had this really this was a really big realization. That's where, awesome! What a headline! Yeah. Mm. So I so I was going to have dinner with Rick Davies. Yep. And I was meeting him as about an hour away. <laughs> he is great entertainment. He yeah. is. It's true. It's true. He is always everyone's entertainment. Um, and I was going to have dinner with him, and and I and I was like, I'm going to walk there. I'm going to walk, and it's and it was about an hour walk. And I was like, really nice night. And I just went with my smug phone and, and so I didn't have podcasts, didn't have music, didn't have, you know, anything except for that. And so it's a long walk and about 20 minutes in, I'm just like, God, this is boring. <laughs> like I'm so bored because I had nothing to mm. entertain me. Just like literally just walking. And at first I thought, this is so good. I feel so smug. But then after 20 minutes, I was like, this is actually just boring now. I'm really bored. Mm. So then I was like, and I pulled my phone out, the smug phone. I'm like, oh, surely there's something I can do. And, and I was like, oh, I'll, mess, I'll message back so-and-so. So I started messaging someone and then I called someone and I started, you know, I had a conversation with someone as I was walking, which I would never usually do because I was like, oh, this is my time. Mm. I'm going to listen to a podcast or listen to a, something. But instead, I, I, I rang and I spoke to someone and I realized, so between that and then also the anticipation of seeing Rick, it meant that if I, so if I had a smartphone, I would have been listening to a podcast, no doubt, to the moment I stepped into the restaurant mm. where I would have pressed stop and taken my earphones out and gone like, Rick, hi, there would have been maybe five seconds of me doing nothing. And because of that, there was no time to get excited to see Rick. Mm. But because I had nothing and it was just me or talking to a friend, I was so excited to see Rick. I'm excited to see Rick anyway, but he was the exciting thing, yeah. not just another piece of content in my day. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm. And also, I feel like if you'd listen to a really great podcast, like, oh, that was really great. Here's Rick. Whereas yeah. it's like he's going to compete with something really great. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, like, he, it would still be great, of course, and you're still excited to see your friend, but because because there's no... There's no up and down. There's no like um, lull before the excitement. Mm. It, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as great. Yeah. Whereas I spent like five, 10 minutes just walking, like picking up the pace. I was like, oh, I can't wait to say Rick because I'm bored. You know, I want to yeah, do yeah, something. That's great. Just made me think, I wonder if dates have become worse if both, if both parties are meeting at the date and they've got their podcasts or music or whatever going on. Till the moment they see each other, I wonder yeah. if it's lowered the general standard of dates. Well, I wonder if because what yeah. I find is like after so after I say Rick, which is this, of course, a dinner with Rick's always going to be great. Had dinner with Rick, and then afterwards, I spend then the next the time walking home thinking about that, like <laughs> reflecting on the dinner or, yeah. or calling someone else. But that that thing of my friends and my entertainment, friends, family, whoever. But so good. It's like so good. I realized that a smartphone promotes consumption and a smug phone promotes connection. Oh, that's great. So chuck that on a bloody t shirt. <laughs> 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 but it, but I mean I obviously I mean I wrote that afterwards think when I was thinking yeah. about it. But that that was huge. That was like, oh, well, why would I ever go back? I'm just picturing Nokia still listening to this going. So this is good for us, I think. I think this is good for us. Oh, I mean, I don't. I didn't. From my research, this this Nokia phone is the best one out there. But the options are slim. Like that yes. is the really shitty thing about yeah. this is that I get it. Like, why would they make these phones? Yeah, these cost a couple hundred bucks, let yeah. alone the other ones, which are yeah. thousands. Mm. So I get why there's no impetus. But God, I would. I mean. I mean, like later I'm talk about my dream device. So yep. that, that's what. Sorry, not- sorry, more, more. Do, let's do more journal yeah. entries. More journal entries. Okay. Yeah. So, the, so day sixteen. This is another realization. So, headline: My brain is a whiteboard. Now my brain constantly feels like a crystal clean whiteboard. Before it felt like the whiteboard was always covered with a hundred different unconnected <laughs> things, and I was always trying to find a small unused <laughs> corner to use without erasing anything else. <laughs> So you know, you know when you know when you approach a whiteboard and you're like, oh, we can't oh. get rid of any of that stuff. So let's just cut <laughs> off this little corner. And there's all that other stuff, and the whiteboard looks messy and it's annoying. But more and more, you get that feeling of cl- cleanliness, Brilliant. clarity. Yeah, yeah. You know? Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Day 25. Headline, genuinely, I feel really smug. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely wrote that. I wrote, I'll read what I wrote. I'm noticing people checking their phones quickly, in quotation marks, all the time. They pretend like they're checking the weather or an email and verbalize that, but then they spend an extra amount of time on the phone. Reminds me of when I had the iPhone and I would verbalize reasons why I'm checking the phone, almost as a way of validating my behavior to others that I know is bad. I've also noticed how Ashton, who's my nephew, because I went away with my sister and my family, and she's got two kids. Um, I've also noticed how Ashton responds to me being more present with him and not being stuck between him and the phone. I don't have an escape, so I'm forced to focus on him and the things he's saying to me. Mm. I show a genuine interest in anything he talks to me about, which I think he appreciates. Mm. I I genuinely felt like a different level of connection with him because I... I had I had no option when I was with him except to be... in. If I didn't show interest in the game he's playing, I'd be like, well, I could just go and like... Oh, sorry, Ashton is too sexy. I was going to check an yeah, email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like it is, you know... So, you got no option but to engage. Yeah. And then... I just lean fully into it. Yeah. So, I was like, I'm going to... I'm going to fully get... I'm going to be really excited about this Pokemon game. Yeah. I'm going to be really excited about it. And, and then you and, probably did get excited about it. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just like... And then I, I genuinely... And I'm not just saying this. I genuinely felt the response from him was like... He was like... He appreciated it. Mm. You know, it, it's something in... This is a group of human beings, like kids that age, who aren't stuck in that world. Mm. And so they would notice when someone is yeah. in their world. Yeah. They would notice, they'd go, oh, this person's not doing that yeah. like every other adult does. Yeah. 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 So then I, then I continue to write, but I also have a lot of empathy for Vanessa, my sister, who needs an escape from the constant wanting and whinging from the mm. kids. It's nonstop. I was acting like I was so present with them yesterday when we got there, but already I can feel myself wanting me time. But I need to fight through that and rise above it. If I can resist my phone, I might find that I discover a new connection with Tegan and Ashton. So it's, yeah. it's my niece and nephew. Yeah, that was day 25. Okay, great. Day 33, um, smug phone update. So, uh, okay, so this is when I, I had like a bit of a, oh God, this is, it was getting tough. I do miss the ease of messaging. I dream of a phone that is basically what I have, but with a proper keyboard. I don't even necessarily need something as powerful and fast as an iPhone because then it becomes fun to use. I like that it's not a fun device to use because that means I obviously use it less. I actually forget that I have a phone on me most of the time. So that was essentially, because I have to use predictive text, I'm like click, 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 click on the Mm. buttons when I'm trying to message. And it's it's annoying. It's annoying to have to message. I'm doing voice messages on WhatsApp much more Mm. because to write a full message is annoying. So that is a con of this is that I can't do, I can't have the fun, the communication fun you have over messages Mm. is not there. That is really disappointing but like i said i'm banned from iphone so mm-hmm. it is what it <laughs> is um uh oh, so then i kept writing but just finishing four thousand weeks the oliver mm-hmm. berkman book that i've read oliver talks about having single use devices things that only do one thing my phone is a phone and messaging device i only use it for phone calls sms whatsapp and that's it that even though it has google maps i don't really use it that much because if I really need my iPad, it's in my bag for Google mm. Maps. Anyway, I, I, I really, I, I, actually, I'll just say, th- I talked down the Nokia twenty seven twenty, but for all of its like imperfections, I love it so much. Like it's just, it's so, it's actually, I actually love it so much more than I love my iPhone because my iPhone, even though I love that as a product and I just think it's so brilliantly designed and yeah. it's it's beautiful it's betrayed you <laughs> but yeah it's i don't trust it yeah whereas like the nokia 2720 mm. flip only has good intentions for me <laughs> like it wants me to live a happy life <laughs> but my iphone is manipulative well it's like it's like the iphone it, it is designed to to grab our to to, to steal our attention that's it's like that's yes. its design yeah it's is it's to capture our attention and then to sell it to the highest bidder as yeah. johan harry would say basically yeah that's an awful relationship. Yeah. An awful, but this thing, this thing, I say it so dismissively, this, <laughs> yeah. this flip phone, phone yeah. this flip phone, the, the, like your smoke phone, it's, yeah, you can trust it. 
I, can, I mean, it's designed for 80 year olds to use phones, essentially. Yeah. That's what it's designed for. <laughs> I think the thing is like for senior citizens. But, but, but for me, it, it, it's, it does nothing more than it needs to do. Mm. Like it doesn't try and yeah. be any bigger part of my life than it's designed to be. So that's, that's why I love it so much. Not because it's a good phone, not because it's well designed, not because it puts the messages out of order for no reason and doesn't actually know the right time. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> like don't trust so the, the, the flaws know the, time. the imperfections of this phone are endless but we, it, we should have it as a guest but, <laughs> but god it for what i need it for it bloody works well it's good what do you mean it doesn't know the time oh yeah. it's doing this weird thing now where <laughs> it for some reason the time's right on the phone but when people message it thinks it's like an hour earlier so it's putting my messages out of order <laughs> It's really annoying, but, you know, it's kind of adorable. <laughs> um, so, then, the, so the, that's all the, the diary entries. Um, yeah, I love them so mm, much. Yeah. I really do. Can I ask a, a potentially strange, it's going to sound strange, but I, I've been thinking about this for, for a while and I've had no idea how to bring it up on the podcast, but I think it links into this. When I've been like, addicted addictively scrolling through instagram or reddit or whatever and just a like youtube and just sucked into the internet and i've wasted an hour and then i say i have to go outside or do something i get in a bit of a, a bit of a stupor is that the word yeah like a, a bit angry or a bit yeah angry at myself a mm. bit of a slump feel pretty shit and i feel like um colors are less intense and like oh, the world whoa. around me is a bit more I don't notice things as much and I've and I feel like when I've been really good and I've been had a good day and I've been productive and I've engaged it's like I notice the colors in the world more mm-hmm. they're more intense and bright that's like it's like a visual version of my friends and my entertainment yeah it's like I the kinda, world is more interesting yeah mm. have you noticed the world around you more like oh. little things and and colors and l- noises and no not necessarily no not necessarily colors or anything like that but I do I'm definitely more attentive in conversations. Yeah. Say you're standing at the front of a cafe waiting for your coffee and you notice – because I feel like the thi- one of the things that makes me so happy is when you notice someone else doing something nice for something, like a little thing that happens yes. out in the street, someone holding Actually, a door or, or just yeah. tiny little moments like that. Those little – yeah. interactions just really do it for me <laughs> and make me feel so good when I notice them. Um, have you been? Yes, 100%. Now, I hadn't thought about that, but I definitely find myself smiling at things more. Like, like How good. actively smiling at things. So if someone, yeah, does something nice or just like a little kid is like being cute. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I will. And I don't know if that's, bec- I, I don't know if that's because of Nokia. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if that's because of that, but definitely recently. I definitely do miss, I do that more. Yeah, because I've just often wondered what's the cost of missing all that stuff on me. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm missing all those tiny little things. They're so small and insignificant. Similar to the, I think there's a line in that Oliver Berkman thing that the interaction between you and the um, person that, like, if you go rather than ordering Uber, Uber and getting it delivered, mm. or going and picking up the pizza, mm. that tiny little interaction with the person at the mm. pizza shop might be just a tiny little thread. But I think the phrase is like. Those tiny little threads multiplied across a community is what holds communities together. Well, yeah, I think that's exact. I've definitely experienced a bit of that. And I, and when I say my friends are my entertainment, you could probably broaden that out and say people are my entertainment. You could mm. probably just say um, I, the I world, think like the world, the is world. Right. Yeah. The, the world, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I wasn't paying attention to it because I didn't, you know, because I'm like thinking. I mean, they're just thinking about an email. I've just seen this. Oh shit! I forgot to do that thing that I was supposed to do. So, because I'm now like thinking and worried about the thing that I didn't do, I miss mm. this nice little th- interaction between two people that happened. And I, I miss, you miss everything. I don't yeah. know what the, necessarily the overall or the cost is. Um, yeah, I don't either. I just wondered it. Ma- Maria, Maria, um, our psychologist Maria, mm. she, when I saw her actually, that, I think it was that first day because I was telling her I'm doing this thing. And she, she said there was, and it's, I probably shouldn't be quoting research that I don't know what it is but she did say to me I'm pretty sure I'll check with her that um, we we have evolved as humans to like physically to be looking to the sides 
to be seeing things and to be reacting to the world, to the signs. And our ev- we are, evolution will be changing because our body is not evolved to be looking up and down as much as it does. Because <laughs> we're looking down at phones and up at phones. Gosh. And the other thing, which was really terrifying, she said that there's apparently new research, and don't quote me on this, but apparently there's new research that if you if you look at your like a screen at cl- a, a close range, so your phone in bed, you know, and you just like, like looking every, at it really close. Sorry, so everyone, yeah. everyone, like that, yeah. Um, what, if you look at it for longer than two hours, like at that at that distance, um, our eyes literally our eyes are elongating, like like it's physically affecting. Uh, the biology of our eyeballs because it's doing something that it's never our eyes have never done that before. We never looked at screens that close. So, so again, like, don't quote me on this, but Maria said Jesus. it, and I'll check with her. But yeah, uh, this is not good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, got exactly slightly the- bulbous eyeballs already. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I can't have them getting any bigger. You can't afford to get them popping out anymore. <laughs> That'll be the deciding factor for you. <laughs> no more yeah. eyes. Fall out of my fucking head. <laughs> oh, no, Hugh, your eyes are falling out. <laughs> There's one morning too many on that phone. <laughs> There's a, I can't remember where I saw it. Who did this? Someone did a... They spoke to someone expert on this and they, they, they got people... If you put your, fin- your little fingers together like that... So if you guys do that... Oh, now, the, this oh is yeah. Yeah. Spot. No, there's a. If you look at the phone, like like the hand, so the hand that you hold your phone with, hey, there's am, a, there's a dint. So where you hold your, sp- <laughs> <laughs> so so put your fingers together, like little, little fingers, fingers together, together like that. touching. Okay, yeah. yeah. And if you look a lot, if you draw a straight line from across, so the phone that you hold your hand in, there is a dent now past the first knuckle, which is much more significant than on the other hand, because where we rest our phone, we ah, rest our phone yeah, there. Yeah. So if you look, yeah, I do have. I've got it. Mine's significant. Ah, oh, I can't really notice it. That's so smug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I believe can you guys, it. Can you guys? Yeah. See it? I can see it in mine. Yeah, I can definitely in mine. I can't see it, but I believe that. Can, it's can true. you see that in mine on that side there? It's oh really yeah. Big. Do you I mean, hold your left hand? Yours is huge. <laughs> Are you sure that's that, not a broken? I have broken that. Uh, that's the thing that just. <laughs> I have broken that finger. Well, that'll be it. No, I, I've dislocated this finger like five times by yeah. cricket. Well, that's why that's your thumb's crooked. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. We'll put a link to that research. Um, it's double the size of my knuckle. It's incredible. Can you believe? Look at the difference. I mean, look at the, the finger that I've dislocated five times looks remarkably different than the other one that I haven't dislocated five times. How weird. How weird. Bloody phones, hey? <laughs> oh, oh, anyway, sorry, that was a terrible digression. I believe it's true. Um, so well, eyeballs. Well, I, I mean, there's nothing, nothing yeah. else to say about that, but um, just other than that it's terrifying. Um, well, I want to start asking about different apps and how you get around that and, and what your thoughts are on it because mm-hmm, there's, yes. I, I want to do this so much. Just, I mean, I love the, the, that journal for me was the thing that really nice observations. And I certainly noticed last summer when I went three and a half weeks without it, all that stuff I noticed and I loved it so much. But I just made excuses for myself. And what you said before, you know, about your sister needing to escape to mm. – I do that way too much. It's just constantly going to my yeah. phone to escape. You're but right, I get really. it. I don't have kids. I, totally, I can totally understand why you would want to. I totally get yeah. it. But I wonder if there's – a healthier way to there's I mean there yeah, definitely is a healthier way to escape. I think well, you still need the escape. If yeah. you, I mean if you're banned from smartphones, then then, then you got to work out. Be. Yeah, and you know start. Yeah, people painting or something. <laughs> yeah, people found something 20 years ago. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so my first one, hmm. photos. Yes, so photos is the biggest con of this. Like it's the biggest downside. So. Uh, believe it or not, the uh, two megapixel camera on the twenty seven twenty flip <laughs> isn't quite capturing isn't, the memories. Nah, it's more pixelated than you'd like, probably. <laughs> um, even though it does technically have a flash, uh, I wouldn't <laughs> I w- wouldn't be relying on it. Uh, so yeah, photos is probably the biggest. And like hanging around with friends of mine who have kids, and the amount of photos that you take of yeah kids, huge. But you Huge don't, downside. You just don't need that many photos. We don't need the amount of photos we're taking. I love nothing more than flipping through a photo of my mum and dad's and you get – I just love that so much. And they're not perfect. That's the other thing I love. Mm. You just see these imperfect photos mm. where now every, like you'll take a photo and go, take another one, hang on, take another one. Take, okay, that's a good one. And then you get the perfect photo. I don't 
I love the imp- imperfections of photo albums and yeah. so much more nostalgic. So, well, I, I mean, when I was when I was away, um, I mean, this was before I switched to smug phone, but I took a film camera, like a thirty-five mil film camera, to take photos, and it just even doing that. I mean, a lot of people are doing that now, but just doing that and not being able to review the photo and just like tr- hoping that that one worked yeah. is oh, that's a great way to stay in the in the moment. But definitely, like that is the biggest issue with doing this is you don't have a camera in your pocket at all times, okay. uh, unless you buy a digital, a small digital camera. Or, but the problem is that I've, Apple have made and Samsung they've made those cameras so good yeah. that it, it's really hard to compete. Yep. with even with a like yeah yeah like I know a little bit about photography and film and stuff, and mm. I tried to take a camera on a holiday, and I try to take a couple of photos and it's just the iPhone unfortunately camera is so, so good, good I know. it's almost without like professional lighting it's almost impossible to bet yeah it is but then you got to question what are you sacrificing it, it's sort of like what I always keep coming back to and it's that's why I've got this you're not allowed to have a smartphone because mm. it's you could say yes the iPhone camera is great but like so is a Ferrari <laughs> like <laughs> it's like well I can't have a Ferrari so I just accept that that's the case. Yeah. So it's like yeah. you can you can either go, oh, I I really want an iPhone camera because it's good, um, and put up with all the other shit things that comes with it. Yeah. And now that I just say what I was to continue that thought, actually, I just realised that when you if you're playing in the game of like how good the iPhone camera is, you're starting to work into a world of pretty unhealthy world of self image. I think like it's pretty easy to get to a point of like. I'm trying to portray my life in the perfect way yep. because of how perfect this camera is. And there's, as we've discussed in 80 episodes, there's a lot of beauty in imperfection and mm-hmm. having shitter photos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the even, I mean, Josh, you would know better than me, but there are now a bunch of those little action cam um, oh, yeah, yeah. products, which mm. are the size of an iPhone essentially. And the cameras are really, really good. Mm. And you can take stills and videos. Like there are definitely... If you, I think with anything, any of these cons, if you really want to do it, there's ways around everything. You figure okay. it out. Uber Eats, iPad. Okay. Um, wallet, like you need you like tickets um, for like credit cards. I uh, use like this a piece of leather that's stitched together, <laughs> and then uh, I put like the bank can. If you ask the bank, they'll send you like these plastic <laughs> rectangles. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're actually so really, nice of them. they're really really good. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> they don't take photos, but um, they do pay for things. <laughs> um, Uber, yeah, iPad. Okay, um, or, but but recently I've been ordering taxis. Oh, cool. I've been thirteen triple two seven. And tell you what, if you want to feel smug, order a taxi in public. <laughs> that's, that's very cool. Um, music. Yeah, music, well, either iPad or no music. Okay. So, podcast is the same. That's your iPad? Yep. So, how often are you walking around listening to a podcast with your iPad? Like, oh, three way iPad? less. Like, I think especially especially at the start. It's because a barrier of entry thing. Barrier of entry, yeah. but also I wanted to walk. I mean, I remember someone saying... So I forget who it was, but I remember saying, I remember it was like a comedian or a writer that I really respected said, if you, if you are a creative person or you want to be a writer, um, the, the worst thing you can do is walk around without and not listen to the world around you. Mm. Like as far as like being a writer, it's, it's good, but just being, I mean, I've just tried to kind of just use the world as my entertainment, I guess, just tried to do that. Um, banking? Because um, that's the amount of times that gets me out of trouble. But so, I mean, I mean, for me, maybe this is different for other people, but it's, it's rare that I need access to a bank like within five seconds. Right, okay. Like I can just use my iPad if I need it or I can just, you know, my computer. I've still got a, I've still got a laptop. Like I'm not a caveman. No, no, no I know. But, <laughs> but the other times I would go to pay for something and then credit card declined, oh, I'll just put some money across. I haven't... Oh, yeah. Well, that, I mean, that would just be an iPad. I mean, it's probably needs, I mean, a bit more organised. <laughs> yeah, could um, be an admin <laughs> issue for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Calendar. Uh, yeah, well, calendar I don't have on me all the time, but it's just like, you mean, the iPad. So, I, you I have take, it on your iPad anyway? The calendar will be on your iPad? Yeah, I mean, my iPad is, everything that was on my yeah, iPhone okay. is on my iPad except for WhatsApp, but everything else is with me most of the time, but it's just in my bag, not in my pocket. 
Okay, you've answered all my questions. <laughs> yeah, it's um. I mean, the, the only other things that are, are annoying are when people message you links, and I mean, technically, the twenty seven twenty does have a browser, but again, you don't want to rely on it for okay. anything. It's yeah. not which a is good, probably its strength. Exactly, you can't yeah. go on the internet. Yeah, so, I mean, you can, but you can't. Okay, so here's so. When I tried this over the summer holidays, mm. and it didn't matter as much because it was summer holidays, I didn't mind that I wasn't being contacted. But mm. I, people would send me text messages, I just wouldn't get them. And it was because they would go as iMessages, but I couldn't get iMessage on my, mm. I think I had a Nokia. I can't remember if it was a different one to yours. Mm. Did, did that, was that happen to you? You get all text messages? Because some of them just weren't getting through to me. Yeah, every now and again, I think, like it's annoying for people in iMessage world because like they can't create a group. Yeah message with me so yeah. I've ruined that a couple of times for people um, but it, again it's like it's such a rare occurrence that mm. it happens that but you're still not missing messages not that I know of I mean maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe I am but it hasn't yeah it hasn't impacted my life that's something I do like a good group message I message you can do it in WhatsApp yeah true yeah I mean yeah the, the, the I message groups you can't do but then I mean, technically, there are more people in the world not on iMessage than are on. True. So, I mean, Android is a big, I mean, probably maybe not in our circles, but definitely. Do you miss seeing the dots come up when someone's writing <laughs> your message? No, God, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I miss, I miss sending, I miss being able to like take a screenshot of something and like yeah. send that. I miss GIFs. I miss um, the speed of messaging. Yeah. But because I don't have all that, I'm on my phone less. Yeah. Okay. So that's sort of the payoff, I guess. So, so tell us about your ideal phone. Yeah, like I want to hear about that. Yeah. Okay, um, Ryan's perfect phone. Okay, yeah, dream device. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the things. So it would have a great camera. Yeah. I, I would love it to be an iPhone-like looking thing. So it's yeah. like a screen. It's like it works really well. Um, but while it has a really good camera, it doesn't have a photo album. So you actually can't yeah. look back on any of the photos. You can look at the last photo you took but everything else is automatically synced to a cloud for you to look at later. Because that is a, yeah. something I spend a lot of time doing, just looking through photos. Yeah. Endless, yeah, okay. Yeah, so this so this particular, on the Dream device, you can't look back okay. at your photos on Great. your phone. You have to go to your computer or yeah. iPad. Great, because that's actually my go-to. On the plane, if there's no Wi-Fi, I'll just look through my photos the whole trip rather yeah. than seeing looking out the window, whatever it is. So, yep. yeah. 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 Uh, it's, got a, it's got a phone, phone function. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, messages, ability to, you can like, with links and, yeah. but you know, it's, it's like normal smartphone messages. WhatsApp, Google Maps, voice recorder, and then had this idea for a music service, which I think would be incredible. So I love, I love music, um, but it's, there's often like so, it's because you can listen to anything. I spend so much time like choosing what to listen to. Yeah. And if I don't like something in five seconds, I'm like, nah, I'll find something else, find something else. It's like on Netflix, you just spend ages mm. choosing. Yeah. So a music, a special music service that every week refreshes with five albums and that's it. You've got five <laughs> albums a week and then it refreshes a week later. So you have to commit to these five. You've only yeah, got five. Yeah. So you have to fully try them out. Anyway, this right. is an idea. And then and then um, no podcasts. As much as I love our no. podcasts, yep. um, the I think the podcasts I listen to all the time still on my iPad or I put it at home on my computer, but I really feel like there is a massive benefit in in not having all these things to fill your ears with while you're walking around. Mm. Because we're all because everyone's just walking around with big headphones on. And we're not interacting with each other. Mm. We're not yeah. acknowledging each other. We're not, yeah. And it's and it's such an easy way to not have to interact with the world. But as we've like heard so many people talk about in this podcast, the thing that makes us happiest is connection. Yeah. And we're not connecting because we have this excuse in our pocket all the time. I, I think, um, yeah, podcasts are one of my favorite things about the probably. Yeah, I'd say close to my favorite thing about the iPhone, yeah. or that's where I consume them. But I'm th as you're talking, I was thinking, I I probably have 40 minutes a night of cleaning up once kids are in bed, mm. and I could easily have some kind of device there that I like. That's my podcast time. I like mm. clean because I feel like that's a really good time mm. to to because I don't really I don't feel like I need to experience the 
<laughs> the every aspect of the cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if I could do that and then say, and then say, all right, if I go for a walk with the dog or if I walk up to get my lunch or um, on the way to work or whatever, I won't have the podcast then. I'm still getting 40 minutes a day of podcast, which is a shitload. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, one, one more thing. Oh, is it loan? <laughs> um, should you guys choose? Oh, no way. Whoa. What? <laughs> should, you, should you guys want to try it? You're kidding me. That's your own smug phone, 2720 flip. Holy shit. That is so generous. They're not that expensive, but. <laughs> <laughs> you said that $200. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's extremely wow. generous. That is amazing. So thank you so much. So yeah. there's there was no way I could for this awful phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. You'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Thank so you. Don't, certainly don't feel obliged to use it, but like at least it's there if you ever want to try it. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to do it because it, uh, I think hearing like like your headlines in your journal were what made me think. I just I absolutely have to do this again. Mm. Also, my experience last time it was just it was to me it was life changing, but. For that three weeks, because as soon as work started, I went, no, no, I definitely need it. I'm traveling all the time again and yeah. want to take oh. photos of the kids. But but I thank you so much. Yeah, that is so you. bloody generous of you. Oh, Are you doing this pleasure. for anyone who wants it? Or is that- ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're actually kind of hard to find, annoyingly. Um, but, wow. uh, but yeah, I mean, the other thing I will also say is I still, like at home, I still get stuck on my iPad and I still, mm. I'm not like, I'm not like changed person but the thing that i feel good slash smug about is that i just know there's probably like an hour or two hours of the day less that i'm on mm. looking at the screen so it's just two more hours that i am probably doing something healthier yeah well i've also noticed i don't know you about you josh but i have definitely noticed with you now you're one of those people that if i'm talking to you i've 100 percent got your you, attention. you really notice that well but yeah because not to say you weren't good at it before but like anyone in the world, as soon as their phone vibrates or rings, like myself included, I'm talking to people, we just said grab it and we have a quick look at it. And if you're telling someone something and they look at your phone, we all do, everyone does mm, it, it's not yeah. shaming anyone, we all do it. But you definitely lose 100% of their concentration for a couple of seconds. Mm, yeah. And it does, you do, you sort of slow down a bit and wait for them to, and it's fine, we're all used to it. But you you never do that now. You are oh, if I'm talking yeah, to you, you are one hundred percent there. And it's really mm. it's such a nice feeling to have someone that mm. when you talk, they're listening, no matter what. Like nothing's gonna get in the way of that. And so I, I've good. noticed that definitely. And that's a that's a great thing. See, that's awesome. And I would kind of that's another reason to do this. I'd love to be that person for other yeah. people. They know that when I'm talking to them, nothing well, I would argue that you already are that person, but No, I have I've got a real problem with phone at the moment. I get this is the worst mm. I've ever been. My my screen time at the moment is the worst it's ever yeah, been. Yeah, I, I reckon I'm at rock bottom yep. at the moment. Yep. Well, I mean, for, I, I will say in my experience, it's it's easy. It's easy. You've already got an iPad. Yeah. Like it's- It's a big one. It's a big one, yeah. but it, I mean, you can- Get a big backpack. <laughs> it's 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 easy. So, Josh, we should definitely do this. Like, Yeah. I, I, well, I'm going away with the family four days next week, and I think I'd like to get it set up before that because I felt like the last time we went on holiday- I was a bit disappointed in my performance in that uh, right. area. Yeah. 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 It is. Um, so you take the SIM card out of your phone, stick in the SIM card. Yep. Yep. Um, straight in. You need to get a, a memory card. So you'll need to export the oh God. content. Oh God, I'll help you. Yeah, you, need, you need to export the contacts out of your, okay. on your computer. Yeah. You know, on, on contacts on your computer. Yep. You can, ex- you choose all the contacts you want because you probably, you don't, probably don't need Heather from year eight on your, <laughs> on your smug phone or whatever. Yeah. Um, Phones were definitely not around when I was in year eight. Yeah, okay. I was being generous. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so you just export all the contacts, put them on a, an SD card and then you put it in your smug phone and they'll all be there. So that's easy. Okay. I, I definitely need this right now. So thank you. Well, if, yeah, pleasure. If, um, if you are interested in doing it, I really recommend the mindset of like, imagine that the smartphone is banned. Mm. You're just not allowed to use it. And you'll figure out, you'll solve the problems mm. that come that you think of. You'll, you'll just figure it out. Well, thank you, Ryan. That's, thank yeah, you thank for sharing you. that, Very first generous. of all. And I, I encourage anyone out there who feels like I do right now, like like I, I often feel like, like I love the, the idea of you proposing a phone to Apple because I often feel like when I say to Apple, you got us, like, we love what you do. Please let us go now. Just please let us go. Like, mm. we, we just let us free. Mm. 
we're not going to go and buy other. Well, we have got another phone, but like, <laughs> if you come up to come up with a phone which frees us from what you've created, we would mm. be so grateful. Well, I bought an iPad. Yeah, so actually, made more money out of it. I gave them more money. Yeah, <laughs> I think you said to me once you reckon that they have created. They're just waiting for the right time to. to they must have. I, I think I, I heard Tim Cook, who's the head of Apple. I heard him in an interview recently saying, he said, in fifty years, he said, you mark my words, in fifty years, the Apple brand will be known as. Um, the one, the the brand who cared most about your health. That was what he said. So, I would be certain. It's a massive blind spot. Yeah. At the moment. Surely yeah. they have. They would know what to do. It'd take them. It'd be so quick, so easy yeah. to do. To think of a phone that is actually healthy for us, or a device that's actually healthy for us. Mm. Um, it would be so easy for them to do, but it would just lo- they would just lose a lot of money. I love it so much. Thank you, Ryan. Pleasure. Thanks for the phone. Yeah. Thank Pleasure. you. Yeah. Pleasure. You get some cool stickers to put on to differentiate them. How about would your sticker be? Probably like corn. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like my year 10 phone. Slipknot. <laughs> Slipknot. <laughs> Free on under the age of 40. <laughs> Corner like a hardcore metal band. Industrial metal band. Yeah. 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 No. <laughs> well, I'll get Limp biscuit. What are you doing, Joe? I think Slipknot. Slipknot. Yeah. 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 Sick. Yeah. You look great. I might get a, I might get a, um, a bodyboarding. Sticker as well. A bodyboarding uh-huh. sticker. Like yeah. a boogie boarding. A boogie boarding. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ballon or whatever. Anyway, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, details. I'm going to one of those. Um, I'll scratch one of those. You know those. Le- what are those things called where you do the three lines at the top, three lines at the bottom, and then you connect it up? Oh, the stuff. The S. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. What is that thing? It's like I don't know. It's like an S. Yeah, I'm going to scratch that into it. Yeah, sick, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if, well, if we're doing things that people did to your journals from school, mine will definitely have a penis on it. <laughs> Great, mate. Well, we'll catch you on the next. <laughs> catch you on the next day. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya. If this episode has been triggering for you, we strongly recommend Lifeline on one three double one one four. The Imperfects is hosted and co-produced by Hugh Van Kylenberg, Ryan Shelton, and Josh Van Kylenberg. This episode was produced by Bridget Northeast, filmed by Andy Poole and edited by George Martin. A special thanks to Dr M for her expertise and guidance. We'd also like to thank the Resilience Project for their ongoing support.